Greetings, this is Inger here, a Norwegian person living in Japan and singing in a band called The Number Zero. Hello, how are you? Today, in spirit of the holidays and everything, I wanted to make a video about something I like about Japan. See, life here can get very frustrating and it's easy to get into a loop of just being annoyed and complaining and forgetting about why you like it here and why you really want to be here, in spite of everything. So I had the idea of giving myself a little prompt of things I like about Japan and do a little serious on that. And I wanted to start that today, but people, I cannot do that today. Why? Because this country has just given me some giant reminders of just how really uncool it can be in the form of the case of Ingrid Martinez. I'm not going to be talking about the case here, that's not the type of channel that I do, but I will be linking some things where you can read about it down there, so please, I urge you to check it out. I will say that she has been released now and I'm really happy for her and her family and I just really hope that the police care enough to actually find out what happened. I'm really kind of teasing this thing now, you're gonna have to read it. So instead, what I'm going to talk about today, which somehow ties in somehow, in my mind, is criticizing things that you like, which is something I like to do. When I feel some sort of way about something, I like to think about it and its part and why it was good or why it was bad and sometimes, actually a lot of the times, uh, why I thought it was bad but I still liked it. For example, I enjoyed Suicide Squad even though it's a fucking mess. I love Crow Zero, even though it squandered so much potential. I love cheesy fucking Eurobeat music with cringy lyrics that make no sense. There is this crazy gay romance road trip book called Tim and Pete by a man called James Robert Baker, who is apparently dead, I found out, which is really sad. Rest in peace. Uh, anyway, I love that book, but it goes some weird places and uh, it would definitely not be considered like adult writing style although it gets very x-rated sometimes anyway his ex-partner was apparently trying to sell the movie rights and please make that movie i want to see that movie anyway the thing that i want to get to is many of my friends and like people i encounter in life and on the internet uh don't seem to be on board with this like criticizing stuff and like talking about the bad things and the good things and misinterpret me criticizing something with me not liking it and in a lot of cases that lead to people getting butt hurt which is another thing i don't get because even if i did dislike the thing why do we need to have the same opinions it's okay not to like all the same things we can still be friends sorry back from the tangent so this has led me to often not talk about what I think about something. In one big case, for example, Bohemian Rhapsody, the movie, not the song. So many of my friends just really, really loved that movie so much. And I enjoyed it. I really did like it and I liked a lot of things in it, but I have a lot of problems <laughs> with it too. And I think it didn't at all live up to its potential. And there's just so much to talk about about this movie to me anyway but if i do try to talk about it with my friends who loved it they'll just be like yeah yeah you didn't like it but i do so stop being a meanie to me which is like none of those things are true i just really think that like storytelling is so interesting that i want to talk about the par parts you know what what works and what doesn't work and like how i maybe wish something would be different or how something is like just the best like my end goal isn't to say or find out whether these movies are bad or good if i like them i like them i just think it's so interesting to explore and like think about and i'm not completely void of friends who like this type of discussing my mom actually does to a certain degree if we see a movie together we usually discuss it afterwards and also my uh chosen family in norway my main sisters from other misters if you will we're kind of the same brand of geek i guess and mind you this mostly is about film and tv and none of us have like education on this or anything it's just something we find really interesting we've actually had people hanging out with us getting upset because they think we're fighting 
and we're like, what? We're just having a discussion. In conclusion, I guess I just miss being more publicly critical because there aren't enough critics on the internet, so I hear. I should really just get more friends who are into this same kind of discussions of things we like. Or maybe I should just start writing a fucking diary. Anyway, I hope you all are having a nice holiday season or regular season if you're watching this in the future. By the way, my favorite Christmas movie is Silent Night, Deadly Night, despite it being a dumb movie in so many ways. It's exploitative and mean-spirited and has a wildly inaccurate depiction of result of childhood trauma. It's also camp- it is also campy and silly in a funny way, sometimes anyway, and uh, other points is it has a hot, not really at all, 17 year old boy as a ridiculous pulpy axe murderer dressed as Santa. 10 out of 10 recommended and not recommended at the same time. Merry Christmas. Don't forget to give me a like if you like the video and subscribe if you want and don't forget also that you can give me ideas for videos. I talk about band stuff, I talk about obviously other things. I will be making that series on stuff that I like in Japan once I'm feeling a little bit better about it. So I guess I'm open to making videos about Japan. Just remember that it's all based on my experience living here. I'm not like some kind of expert and I'm, I'm very aware that people always have a very different experience. Ooh, also do check out my band. There's, uh, there's links down below and there's like links to a little interview and uh, some clip from a concert that we did the other day. It's uh, in Japanese, but if you don't understand Japanese, there are still some live clips and things like that. If you're interested, it's all linked. And if you want to see my simple little art advent series, you can go to any of my social medias and check it out. Everything is linked. Okay, bye now. どうかどうか撮ってる撮ってる撮ってる<笑>